Ladies and gentlemen, how are you doing today? I am your Planetary Defense Commander, Star-Lord New Thor 7. And I gotta warn you, I have a little bit of cabin fever this afternoon. You might be saying, why Thor, why do you have cabin fever? Well, I definitely need more fun in my life. As I imagine you do too, technically. I think we all deserve a month vacation after everything that's happened since 9-11. But the real reason I have cabin fever is because I've been with this storm and talking about this storm for 18 days. And it looks like we got at least a couple more days to go. So if I'm a little crazy, A, it's probably because I can feel the lightning, the electricity of these 39,000 lightning strikes that have happened in the Americas, or the upper Americas, in the last two hours. As you can see, we come together and you electrify me. We got a semi flying seven over here. We got a little spaceship. And then we have a wall of lightning approaching northward. And at some point, I think the two systems that have been wreaking havoc, the northern system has caused major floods and damage throughout the Great Lakes area. We've seen over 60 sinkholes in Minnesota, or it could have been Michigan. A lot of flooding in Michigan, Wisconsin, Illinois, and this slow moving storm is only going to continue to move east. The big thing I'm watching is when it hooks up with the southern storm coming out of the Gulf of Mexico. And then look at this crazy wall of clouds that just kind of sits there off the west coast. So when these two hook up, you guys somewhere in here are going to get some major action. And the crazy thing is, as Henry Marcus City pointed out on Twitter in a blog, which I will leave posted in the information of the video, is that the storm we have coming up this week, in like two days, the Lando Cane, is a pretty rare event. Oh, I gotta click through all this crap now. Give me a moment as I encounter technical difficulties. Alright. So, yeah. What he's talking about is a Lando Cane. See that thing? Whatever that is there. As I've been telling you, y'all, since the second, is that how I saw it from the models and the pressure and the moisture in the atmosphere and all the volcanoes that are going off. The tropical moisture would begin to enter the United States around the 14th. It would start to get really bad around the 17th. The peak badness, we hope, would be around the 21st or 22nd. And then it'll last probably another two or three more days. So that's been my estimation roughly the whole time. And it's actually exceeding my expectations on damage and WTFness. And so, apparently, this double header may become a triple header. And so, a lot of people are going to be watching whatever this, that little hurricane thingy right there. It's not a hurricane, it's a land of cane. Or whatever. And the Azores high is still nuts. Alright. Trying to see if we break 40,000. We may have peaked. Because it looks like it's going down. And in the three days, the highest lightning total in two hours I've seen is 41,000. It's kind of hoping we break it today. I like lightning. Remember, when thunder roars, go indoors. Unless he likes to gamble with your life. Okay, so the heavier of the rain yesterday was in Beaumont. It dropped 22 inches in the last 72 hours in this area, in some spots. And then now, the central part of southern Texas is getting slammed pretty hard. I'll have to check up on rain updates. But the best ones I have now 
are from Robert Fanny, Robert Scribbler on Twitter. Southeast Texas hammered by 15 plus inches of rain. Remember that that's the entire coast, as I've been talking about. The entire coast is pretty much getting a ton of rain. <clears throat> this is the lightning and rain moving through Houston. I'm about here, so it is all to the west of me. I've been pretty dry. But over at weather.com, breaking. Evacuations ordered. Towns. Multiple. Plural. Towns. Underwater. Take this moment to light a cigarette. Don't give me no grief. Cigarettes are my girlfriend. And as planetary defense commander, looking at this shit every day, sometimes it's a bit stressful. So we got a bunch of towns underwater. Let's see what else did I see that was. This is what I'm talking about. How a volcano turns a town into a cemetery. It's talking about the Guatemala and search for volcano victims with 200 still missing. And as her government turned 70 people who died after Hurricane Maria in Puerto Rico into 5,000, then we can take this meaning 15,000 people died in Guatemala from the volcano that has been erupting and has put out pyroclastic flow so instead of the fancy orange which is pretty to the eye you see with the Hawaii volcano that is continuing to erupt it's more of a gray mud or gray plasma goo and that gray plasma goo is up to 1300 degrees in temperature and remember so like it has these 34 volcanoes going up along this strip and that I'm guessing is causing this area to be hot and which will add more water temperature increases to the Gulf of Mexico so that a lot of meteorologists keep talking about how the Atlantic is going to be cooler this hurricane season than normal I have a feeling the Gulf of Mexico is going to be a lot hotter than normal so everybody on the Gulf needs to be prepared at any time Hey, that's just me talking, man, doing my job. You know, you you make your own decisions. I would say, hey, man, you should have a wide selection of sources of data. It's the best not to just use one. Because we all make mistakes. Sometimes we get shit wrong. Me? Not a lot lately. Okay. Nobody likes to hear that, so let's move on. <laughs> all right. This is a lot of rain. This is tons of rain. I mean, you have major fronts from Minneapolis stretching all the way down through St. Louis, Arkansas, into, I mean, that's, it's incredible stuff, people. Incredible stuff. And so, Mother Nature is improving at these earth changes. So she is now knocking shit down. I'm talking roads, airports, houses, towns, faster than we can build them. And so now is the best time ever, not counting any time before now, to come together as one America family. And I mean Canada, Mexico, South America, and adapt with these fast earth weather changes that are happening with volcanoes, with rain, wind, weather. The time to plan is now. This is technically the light stuff. You know, it's only going to continue to increase in severity. And if we adapt, we get to win, have an extremely peaceful world, build a bunch of really great stuff, bring back rock and roll and comedy, and then live in peace together as one Earth family. That sounds great. People are like, hell no. That sounds like exactly what the boogeyman would say. I'm like, what? That don't make no damn sense. You know, apparently some people are scared of improving everything. At a time where everything seems to be really shitty, or broken, or working like crap, or intended to make things more complex and more expensive. So, improving things is the way to go. And you can only do that together. So yeah, look at this system, man. And this is almost, this is the Lando cane that's almost forming 
starting to form. It's almost like going to be a giant tornado or something. So everybody's, yeah, we are on high, high weird weather wild alert today, tomorrow. Let's just say through the week, shall we? Um, it's going to be a wild summer, people. Absolutely. So I'm just keeping you guys updated. My friends invited me to go see Solo tonight. A, I don't know if I can afford it. B, I don't know if it's any good. I don't want to spend two and a half hours watching a movie. Paying 20 bucks. Because, yeah, I'm going to get an Icy and a bucket of popcorn if I go. So, if I'm going to go to a movie, it better be good. So, I don't know. If somebody wants to buy me a movie, an Icy or popcorn, leave my PayPal in the link. I definitely need some fun. Or a couple hour break from... This storm. But I'll be around and I'll keep you guys posted. But looking at it and looking at the way it's been going and tracking this thing for. Yeah, I think we peaked. We're 9 out of 39. But having tracked this thing for 18 days. Uh, the worst, as I said, the 21st, which is tomorrow. The P peak. See, yeah, I think we have peaked. Although it's still going to bring a lot of rain. Just saying we're monitoring the pulses. So what's my point? Oh yeah. So I'm trying to see a movie. Shit is crazy. See here we have past 72 hours. Harlingen in, in Texas, 14 inches. Port Aransas, 14 inches. Corpus Christi, 13 inches. Um, by Geoff Cornish. Some parts of the South Texas have received over a foot of rain over the past two to three days. While the low pressure system responsible for the flooding never gained the anatomy of a named tropical system, it is still packing a punch. Man, this is like a round three. And it has hit us way more than once in these three rounds. So, I mean, yeah, looking at this thing, definitely the next 24 hours are going to be crazy. Um, I should find the part um, where Mr. Margasetia. Look at this. Huge hail puncturing the turf at a golf course in Louisville, Colorado. Colorado, a bunch of tornadoes. Tons of hail. Like, we're talking snow's worth of hail. This was it popping last night. Early in the morning, Europe's bank said, hey, what a week, huh? Lemon, it's only Wednesday. Where's Henry Murder City thing? All right, I guess I can't find it. Anyway, but he was pointing out, I'll find his blog, that yeah, this storm we got coming up tomorrow and the next day, that big giant turning thing you see, it's a rare event and it's really weird. What did I do? What was this? Burger King apologizes for offering lifetime of burgers. For women impregnated by World Cup players. That's really weird. Alright, I can't find it. Yet. Yeah, we have a lot, lot of damage and stuff. So. Oh, yeah. And I keep watching this. Ah, oh, you make it play. This is Hawaii. And this is like week six. Look how fast that lava is coming out. And uh, some of the top volcano reporters in Hawaii who've lived there said this has exceeded all the lava output in, in known Hawaii history. I mean, look how that, that is coming out fast and furious. So, it's time to wake up. It's time to do things. Better than we have before. I mean, we have to change the everything, the entire system, the way we do things to adapt with Earth. Because Earth's moving forward, whether we like it or not. And, oh, one other thing. <clears throat> As I've been talking about, the last year, one of the things that helped me predict 
before hurricane season that the America would probably get hit by multiple hurricanes was the sun's activity and I guessed that the sun will probably be waking up around July and remember we got eclipse season starts July 11th so about a week after that it's gonna get extra crazy again and so if we look at the sun yeah looks like the sun is definitely starting to wake up so if the sun if the sun starts popping off x-class flares then we know it is on like Donkey Kong. So the time to prepare and plan is now. Okay? Dang. Alright. Love you guys. If you can, shoot. Maybe even a meal. A movie, a meal, an icy, popcorn. I'm worth it. Totally. Anyway, talk to you guys soon. Did I mention the weather is going to continue to get really weird and severe and dangerous over the next few days, so please pay attention. Kick ass. Love you guys. Stay cool. God bless everyone. May the force be with you always. Live long and prosper. And don't let the bastards drag you down. Yeah, these are strange days indeed. So be the best you you can be.